Yo, yo. All right. So today I got um, a pretty kind of interesting task. Basically, ever since I um, had like a backyard fire in the side of my tiny house kind of burning up, um, I've been using it as like storage, basically. So I put like basically like my big tools in there and um, just like kind of building supplies and whatnot. Um, so it's been like literally just a mess in there and i actually kind of avoid even going in there because it's kind of depressing um the ceiling is still like all burnt up the floor there's like burnt remains on the floor so um remains is remains specifically for dead bodies i'm tripping but burnt pieces of building stuff you know all over the floor and whatnot so it looks really bad in here so today i thought it would be kind of a good idea to go ahead and just clean it up um I'm not going to like do anything too crazy. Uh, I, I think probably another future video I will go in there and like actually like repair like the burnt parts and stuff like on the ceiling and obviously knock out the window and replace this door. But today I'm quite literally just taking everything out. I just want to look like a home again. Um, I want to look like I guess a room. I won't look like a home yet because the kitchen is in there like nothing's really in there. But um, I want it to just be the shower. Obviously the shower I can't move that. Um, my fridge and my sink so i'm about to get that done just in warning though it really does not look too pretty um i'm actually kind of embarrassed to show it to be honest it's just so dirty and messy i've just been like doing so much moving around that i haven't really got a chance to clean it at all so um i need to like whip out the room and everything so let's go in. i'll take to give you a little peek all right so here's how it's looking um still burnt on the top Oh my god. Um, yeah, it's not looking too good. The window. I actually um, was moving something around and I fucked around and broke off one part of the, uh, the water heater. So I'm kind of sad about that. It's not going to cost too much money, maybe $5, but... Yeah, it's looking pretty messy in here. Um, and the roof is just not looking wet, good at all. So it definitely needs a paint job. It needs, it needs a lot, but it's all right. It's doable. All right. I feel like what I should first do is maybe get rid of all the big shit. Like literally everything is leaving here um, except for water heater, sink, fridge, and that's kind of about it, so, yeah. All right, well, I got it as clean as I can. Um, let me give you a little tour of how it's looking right now. I definitely have to go in here and do a lot more work, obviously. There's, like, barely anything in here. And I definitely didn't 
I wasn't able to get like the roof um like done enough as I as I wanted to today, but I t it turned out I need some scissors that are like actually stapled in. So um, I'm sure the next video I make on this will uh, I'm gonna remove it all and then replace it all. Um, but yeah, here's a little tour of how it's looking right now. All right, so looking clean. It's looking fresh. Um, yeah, looking really empty. I'm so happy. Like, I finally don't feel like, um, like, uh, you know, avoiding, avoiding the tiny house anymore. It doesn't look trashy and shit. I opened this window because it got a little dusty after I started sweeping. But, um, pretty much, um, over here I was trying to drill up these pieces of wood so I can sit that sink on top of it. But it turns out that, uh, my drill just isn't powerful enough. I need to buy a new one. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm actually going to be replacing this sink with a different sink because my ADU, um, I actually am in the process right now of up upgrading the kitchen there. So I'm going to be taking that sink and putting it in here. And this one I got for free, so I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll have it in my backyard, I don't really know, or I'll just sell it or give it away for free. Um, and I need to actually redo the entire plumbing, which I'm kind of pissed about. But, um, yeah, I got the little mirror. Some tools up here. The ceiling ain't looking too juicy, but it's okay. Um, I'm just happy I got it all sweeped up. That trash was was really trashy. Um, I ended up putting this thing up because I really don't like the look of of that. So I thought that makes it look a lot more better. Um, and the shower. Um, I'm actually really happy that the shower is like fully intact. I have a lot of work to do on here too. It's definitely shower bowl, but I want to do a lot more to it. Um, and the toilet. Oh, well, I got to buy a thousand dollar toilet. Um, uh, this really juicy one off of Amazon. So that one is just temporary. I haven't even gotten it yet, but I want to try. Um, yeah. Well, there you have it. I'm so happy I was able to clean it out. I've been wanting to do that for a while now. Um, a little time. Shutter. A little timeline for the tiny house, though, is in about mm, two weeks or like maybe like a week. I'm trying to think um, one to two weeks. I'm going to be buying the greenhouse. And when I buy that greenhouse, that's when I will be moving all my shit from my house into the greenhouse and the tiny house. Um, and uh, I need to before then, I kind of need to hook up the door and I need to hook up the new window and I need to hook up the plumbing again. Um, so things are a little bit wobbly right now because I'm working on my ADU right now on the kitchen, like I said, and I, I think it will take me another week. And then um, after that, I actually am, I have like this trip coming up next week. And um, it seems like after that, probably mid-October, um, I'll be able to fully move in. Let's hope everything works out just fine. Um, I'm actually probably most sad about the plumbing being fucked up and having to redo it because that took a lot of effort, time and effort to do. But I learned how to do it and it'll be okay going forward because I know how to do it now. So it'll be okay. But um, I just know it's going to take a bit. A lot. The good thing, though, is I actually do still have all the materials to redo the plumbing. So I don't need to buy anything else. I just have to do it. Um, and, uh, yeah, a lot of trial and error. I hope I don't, like, kick on that water heater and it ends, and it ends up, like, not working. That would be so depressing. It costs, like, $200. So I hope I don't have to do that. Um, and then the door, too. I'm a little bit nervous about the door and the window because I don't know how to install a new door or window. The door, I have to, like, shave off some of, like, the tiny house a little bit on the top, a little bit on the side in order to fit this new one in. And the window, I can't seem to find a window with, like, perfectly the same size. So I may have to just, like, shove in a smaller window and then put wood around it. So I'm not sure how that's going to play, but I'm sure everything will work out just fine. And then the toilet, I'm going to buy very last. Like, the second I find somebody to rip my house, that's when I'll buy the toilet because, like I said, it's going to be $1,000. I really don't want to cheap out on the toilet because it is something I don't want to, like, replace again. This one I already bought is, like, $25. So I don't have to replace another toilet. So if I buy the $1,000 toilet, I'm sure it will last me at least a year. I just need it to last me a year and I'll be fine. Um, and luckily the shower is up and running. I can do more to the shower. I would love to tile it, you know, like I, you saw in the beginning, I was taking out everything. I have a lot of tile left over from, um, getting my ADU shower redone. So I might end up in the future redoing that shower and doing tile. I think that would be amazing. Um, 
And like I said, I'm going to move that new, put the new sink in there. Um, so I have a lot of work to do on this guy. I'm just happy I got the first step done, which is cleaning out all that bullshit. And um, soon I'll be cleaning out, um, cleaning out or, and repainting the inside from like the fire damage. Um, so it's slowly but surely uh, within the next couple of weeks, two to three weeks, I should be, um, I should be up and running, which I'm excited about, but also scared about. Either way, thanks for watching. Bye.